Hey guys, Aaron here from Simply New England. So today what I'm going to show you is a way to fix your winch cable should it snap on you while you're plowing like it did to me or maybe even if you're out in the woods and you're pulling out a friend and it snaps, you're the only one with the winch cable and you feel like, oh crap, now we're stuck. What I'm going to show you is a way to fix this without any tools, but for this, I am going to use a couple tools because I want to do this correctly. I am going to order a synthetic winch cable. Uh, I find and I hear from many people that it's a much better option than your traditional winch cable. It doesn't kink up. It's easier to work with. You don't get splinters if you have to kind of get in there and work with it. So hang here with me. I'm going to get everything set up and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Simply New England off-road style. So what I'm going to show you here is actually really simple to do. So first off, the cable is going to start out like what you see down here. It could end up being frayed depending on how it broke. But what I'm going to do is I've already clipped one of these down. But again, the no tool process, if you're out in the wilderness doing whatever you're doing in the snaps, don't worry about this first step. But if you're at home and you're able to take the time, what you do here, you can take your lineman pliers, go ahead and get down to the area where it's frayed. All right, so now that those are cut, I'm going to remove this thing here, okay, the, the stopper, which I highly recommend, and you can find a link to this in this video of where to purchase them, and I'll show you what it does in the, at the end of the video. First thing I'm gonna do is remove this cotter pin and be careful these frays here they are definitely sharp and they'll make you bleed so I'm going to go ahead and remove the cotter pin okay so there's the cotter pin I'm going to remove this and just get rid of this piece because I'm not going to need it so the first thing you've done is you've freed up your hook. Put this away so you know you know you can go back to it in a minute and you don't lose anything. I'm gonna put that over here. Now the next thing you're going to do, and this I tell you is not hard to do at all. Okay, as I already showed you, I clipped this down. If you're in the wild, you don't need to do that. I'm just doing it because I'm here and I want it done properly the first time. So there's that. So what you're going to do is try to evenly count depending on how many strands your cable has this cable has one two three four it has seven so I'm gonna have four on one side three on another side and what you're going to do is just simply unwrap this in its natural cable position just unwrap it you're gonna get it into a loop like this these are crossed over one another you're going to take this top piece and bring it back around. You see how I'm following and I'm kind of putting the cable back together? Notice I have extra here. You'll see why in the end. It might take a little bit of messing around with. Just be patient with it. Depending on how stiff your cable is. But see it's coming back around. And I'm going to bring it through again. And then I have that left over. Now I'm going to take this side and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to bring it through. It'll start to fall into place, as you can see. I'm not doing anything special here. And again, be careful you don't prick yourself with the excess, which I've probably already done. I'll show off on my fingers bloody later on. Sorry about that, it's just taking a little bit of work. It's a stiff cable, it's pretty new. But like I said, it broke when I was plowing. So here I go. I'm gonna come through again. And it should. And there it is. Now, you have this excess down here, so what you're going to do is exactly the same thing. You're going to continue wrapping it. So it looks like 
the original cable again. Right now, if I was to put this hook on, this is the no tool method. I could go ahead and put this on. This is an awesome temporary fix. It's not going to come apart because I have all this tied down in there. Okay, you can make this loop smaller or bigger. But what I'm going to do, because I'm home and I have the time, and I want to ensure that until my next cable comes, it doesn't undo itself, I'm going to just simply take one of these little hickeys here. You can find them in any plumbing department. And I am going to tighten this down and basically make my own homemade crimp, okay, which is this piece here. So this is easy, just put it back in, it's got a catch. Take your screwdriver, okay, it's now caught. So now all I'm going to do is just keep spinning this until it tightens it to where I want it. All right, so once you've tightened that around here all the way, okay, as you can see here, it's on there. It's moving a little bit, but it's not going to really go anywhere. From that point there, you might even want to get one a little size smaller than this. Now that I'm looking at this, eh, I don't know if that's going to uh, clamp down enough. I think it reached its limit. But you get the idea. After this video, I'm going to go back and put a smaller one on. But for now, I am going to use this. And that actually won't move because here's what I'm going to do. This is what I was telling you about earlier. This is the winch stopper. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna just loosen up these two sides, get this so it opens back up. And when you do that, the little nut's gonna fall out, so make sure you don't lose it. And I do have another video that talks all about this. You can check that out as well. I actually did a free giveaway on these a while back. So what I'm gonna do here now is I'm just gonna open this up So this really won't matter once this is in here because it's not going to go through. I'm going to push this through. And once it's in, there we go. Now it can't. Now now it's not. Now it's not going anywhere. Okay, you can see that in there. So then just take these, put them back in. Take your screw, your nut bolt, whatever the hell you want to call it, <laughs> and tighten it back down. Next one, final one. Put that right in there. It should catch on its own in a second. There it is. So take your cable, put that in there. Take your pin, your lock, and then take your cotter pin. Simply slide that back through. Make sure that you bend your carter pin out a bit. It doesn't fall off when you're plowing. And there you have it. Now all I have to do is just take this, put it back on the plow. Hold some of the tension up. Come over to the four wheeler and watch this. There we go. Well guys, as you can see, that was pretty easy. Probably take you, watch the video a couple times, probably take you five minutes. That is a quick fix. You can do that with a Jeep winch, four-wheeler winch, any type of winch. You can actually do that with all cable. There's a term that they use for that. I think it's called like a, a molly, a molly wrap or a molly tie, something along that lines. There's some other names that when you do that, what it goes by. But uh, a lot of um, longshoremen, they'll use that when they're tying cable, people in construction. So that's something that can get you out of a jam. For these purposes, we're showing it about on the four-wheeler. Again, works for the plow. It'll also work if you got stuck out somewhere and that cable snaps and you still need to get your buddy out of that mud hole that he was caught in. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm going to do a quick demo. I'm going to plow with this as is to show you that it does work. Now remember, this is a temporary fix. You can do this over and over again. You get 50 feet of cable. It depends how much cable you want to chew up in doing that. I don't recommend it as a permanent fix, but as a temporary fix, 
two thumbs up. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to show you that this works exactly as I told you. as I did utilizing that little hack. And this is Aaron signing out, Simply New England Off-Road. See you next time on the trails.